There is a PlayStation 5 exclusive coming out called Stellar Blade. Here's some gameplay from it. I got this from Sony's channel on YouTube. This is what it's going to look like. And I remember uh, Western game journalists were very upset about this game. They weren't happy about it. Uh, they said that it's got outdated looks. Uh, the woman in the game is not real. There's no way that women can actually look like these characters. And then this dropped from at Shift Up World, Stellar Blade. I don't know if this is official or not, uh, but they dropped a video of the model being scanned into the game. This is the real person who apparently, according to woke Western journalists, doesn't exist, but that's her body. It's real. And this has sent people into a meltdown. Uh, people have been making fun of Western games, Western developers, Western journalists. Uh, journalists and people that are woke are mad about the fact that women actually look like this. Uh, they're not supposed to actually look like this, I guess. They're all supposed to be land whales. Uh, this is unrealistic beauty standards. This is why I've always laughed, because it's like, you know women actually have these bodies, right? As much as the West would like to shove that under a rug for some reason. Uh, so they're very upset about this. PlayStation 5 exclusive Stellar Blade spotlights real-life model used for protagonist. Stellar Blade reveals the real-life model that the developers used for the protagonist of the upcoming PlayStation 5 exclusive action title that I'm probably going to check out, to be honest. A Stellar Blade, an upcoming PS5 exclusive, features a protagonist based on real-life Korean model named Shin ja Un, whose likeness was recaptured through a 3D scanning progress. Pro, uh, process. Uh, so <laughs> what's funny about this is people are having a lot of fun with this, really roasting Western games, showing that they just screw everything up. Like they're, it's almost like they're purposely trying to go out of their way to make characters unattractive. And I mean, here's some really good examples from this floating museum account. Uh, here's one. I mean, they don't look the same at all. I mean, why why didn't she just look like the girl on the left if that's the model that they're based on? Uh, you see Stellar Blade doing it quite perfectly. And then you have this one right here. That was the big one over the summer. What is this face? Why can the Japanese do this perfectly? But in the American Western games, they give the characters crimson chins and like big noses. Like She doesn't look anything like this girl on the left, if that is the model that she's based on. Uh, it, it's it's crazy. Uh, here's another one. Like, look at the one on the right and the one on the left. It's wild. Uh, here's some more. <laughs> it's like they're intentionally trying to make women ugly in Western games. It's very, very weird. I, I would say it's intentional. Uh, this is a response to an account that says this. Uh, Western devs have no excuse. Bring back female beauty and sex appeal in media. You're implying that Western devs are intentionally making unattractive women, but when you get called out, it's just preference. Your preference isn't law. And then Floating Museum pretty much threw this person into the garbage can with examples and receipts. So I, I think that there's something to talk about there. There's more. Listen to this Western developer that bitched about this game. Here's a guy from Digital Foundry calling Project Eve problematic because the girl character has hyper proportions and it's unrealistic. Even though we know, we know that she's real. She exists, but she's, I almost feel like they did this as a dunk on dumb Western critics. Listen to this. This guy literally says that the woman that you just looked at doesn't exist. She's not real. And that for Spokens, female protagonist blows her away. Uh, the one thing, I know you were talking about the, the character from a bygone era. Uh, I do think the character model was actually like very distracting in not a good way because like the, with the camera angles chosen, it just felt like this game seems like a, a game that came out in like 002 in terms of its, you know, like character design. It's like a bit 
old and, and not flattering, I don't think, for a modern audience. In comparison to something like Forspoken, which has, you know, uh, I mean, yes, it has a much more realistic looking character designs. Uh, it's not these hyper proportioned uh, something or another's, but it also seemed, I don't know, a bit more grounded in a way that I found much more appealing than. Stellar Blade, that's what he was going to bring in. By the way, here is the female character from the upcoming Fable Xbox game. Uh, but yeah, I just find it funny that they all look stupid because this woman absolutely exists. I mean, there she is right there getting her body scanned in. Uh, these people are idiots. I cannot stand Western developers. I can't stand Western Western media. I can't stand tourists on Twitter. They get mad about when you when you call them out for this. Nobody can. Nobody likes them. Uh, gamers just want to have fun games. They also want visually appealing models in the game. Uh, but Western developers want to have everything ugly, ugly, and that's not what fans have been asking for. Uh, so they have all these people that are upset. They, they say that women like this don't exist, that it's impossible for them to exist. Uh, every woman in the world must be fat or something. And uh, that's just the, the world they're going to give us here in the West. And this is one of the many, many reasons why Japanese stuff has been taking off over in the West because they don't bend the knee to all of these weirdos that make all of these demands. And for the most part, they just ignore them and don't give a shit about what they say. And this is what's always kind of pissed them off about Japan because Japan has just always largely ignored pigs. Uh, they don't really listen to them. In fact, if most of these people went over to Japan, they would probably shame them for how they look. And <laughs> they probably wouldn't like that either. They would come back, oh, we're over to Japan. They probably actually wouldn't shame them for how they look. They would be polite, but I'm just saying. It's uh, it's just funny to me. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. What are your thoughts on all of this? Let me know in the comments uh, what you're thinking. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure that you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and my Locals, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.